What scares you most about civilization? We're losing our capacity to distinguish what is true from what is not, what is objectively true. And the methods and tools of science are exquisitely designed to establish what is objectively true. And objective truth is I perform an experiment, I get a result. Other people perform other experiments, get the same result. It repeats, there it is. Line up a thousand people and give them a coin. And everybody said, flip the coin. And about half will get tails, half will get heads. If you got tails, sit down. That's 500 left, approximately. Mm -hmm. Have them flip. Half get heads, have 250 of you sit down. And that will left for two. Do it again. Go from 250 to 125 to 60, 30, 15, 8, 4 to 2 to 1. Okay? In this experiment. It's not, a, it's not an unthinkable experiment. Mm -hmm. This person who survived this exercise flipped heads 10 consecutive times. Now, here's what journalists do they go up to that person and they say, How do you feel? Well, I, I knew I had felt that head's energy halfway through, <laughs> and, I, and I was feeling it, and I. Did they ask anyone else if they felt oh, that head's energy? No, they only interviewed that guy. Okay? You come Wait, on I, I'm not done. Okay. Essentially, every time you do this experiment, somebody's gonna flip heads 10 consecutive times. So you wanna say, oh, this is a special universe in which that happened, no. No, because of the, the nature of the, the fact that you have a thousand experiments happening all the time, there's going to be one where somebody flips head, heads 10 consecutive times every time you do this experiment. I don't think we command dimension.